Yeah, the city of old San Francisco picks up the trash. I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White warehouse somehow. Yeah, the Golden Gate Hotel was so famous, they named a bridge after it. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business here. Well, it's my favorite podcast. Full of pod people. Rusty the Clown was one of our more infamous Chandler Avenue residents. He ended up in a vat of chemicals strong enough to melt titanium. Rusty's always gave me the creeps. It's closed. Most businesses... Looks like Rusty's fun mass building has been converted into a Knights of the Templar clubhouse. It's the Three Cards to Midnight shop. Three Cards to Midnight isn't open right now. I'll have to try back later. It's the Three Cards to Midnight shop. Archie helped me out on my Pandora Directive case, where we met a charming fellow named Jackson Cross. I'm gonna do you the favor of a lifetime. I'm gonna let you walk. But if I catch you meddling in NSA affairs one more time, I'm gonna put a bullet right in your eyeball, is that clear? Get this puke head out of my office. I'll be watching you, Murphy. Man, I thought this would have ended up in the Andes Mountains. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. The Ritz is the fire trap I call home. Door. Heck, <laughs> Malden. That buffoon always got credit for cases I solved. Some pretty intense staring contests have been held right here. The ultimate game of Battleship. It's best not to sit on these couches, but if you do, you better be wearing a hazmat suit. Problem with vid phones is you can't call anyone from the bathroom anymore. Well, you shouldn't. Ah, the Presidio. I mean, the Palace of Fine Arts. No, wait, is it the Museum of Science? San Francisco just has too many landmarks. Time to get a new clock. Some pretty intense staring. It's best not to sit on these couches, but if you do, you better be wearing a hazmat. A bell will be placed in the lobby if a clerk is on duty. If a bell is on the front desk, I could ring it and talk to the clerk. Sapphire, eh? That sounds like a fun new neighbor. Well, this is a flashy new neighbor. Yeah, needs a key. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want... Eh, needs a key. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. Sad to say, many robots and cyborgs end up down here. They get hooked on old Chihuahua motor oil, and they stumble down here looking for a fix until their lights fade out. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over there. 
That's Rick's pawn shop. Inspector Burns finally opened his own barbecue joint. I bet it tastes just like arson in your mouth. Behind Rook's pawn shop is a dirty, ugly alcove that reminds me a lot of Rook himself. What's this? Too bad this zipline trolley. Yeah, the city of old San Francisco picks up the trash once a year. Well, it's not a Banksy. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. What's this? Oh, it's a small wheel. Hey, it worked! Zipline trolley's repaired. Now we need to find... Well, it's not a Banksy. Well, it's not a Banksy. This door's just painted on. I knew there was something creepy in there. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. Now the gate's locked, but when Rook gets to work, he'll unlock it. So I'll check back later. The day I came back to my office to that grisly sight. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant, and it was like they couldn't care less. I guess people are a little apprehensive about taking that bottle back for deposit. It's closed. It's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious smugglers and petty criminals. This is the Brew and Stew run by Louis Laments, nicest guy on Chandler. He let me run up a tab a time or two. Nothing but destroyed homes and buildings for blocks in all directions, but each year, something menacing grows up through the decay. Being part of a historical landmark is not really helping my midlife crisis. Now that's a handsome devil. Wait a minute. A rival PI? Oh man, how did this happen? It's locked. I won't be able to enter without proper identification. It's locked. I won't be able to enter without proper identification. 